Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, a special episode. The three most important rules of troubleshooting. First rule of troubleshooting, do the easiest thing first. Second rule of troubleshooting, don't rely on the guy that came before you. He was not able to fix the problem. So those guys uh, poking sticks in sockets and whatnot, if they say that they tested the thing that they were supposed to test, they didn't test it. You got to test it for yourself. And I am fully 100% guilty of that in this case. Now I bought this beautiful made in Halifax, England, Boxford lathe, probably a decade ago. And initially I didn't want it too small, not enough torque. It was sitting in an industrial site, uh, forlorn, you know, inch of dust on it. Nobody cared about it because it's a baby, no, you know, it's no good. So I subscribe to that kind of group think, well, it's no good for me because it's not big enough. You know, it just doesn't, doesn't have the jam, doesn't have the balls. Anyway, they were going to scrap it. I put 500 bucks into the beer fund, the shop beer fund, and I carted it home with me. I put a VFD on it just for shits and giggles and fanciness. She runs like a hot damn. However, I was told and took it for granted that the clutch here only worked on the half nuts. The friction clutch didn't work. So basically the half nuts are for threading. You engage them and, it, and a nut comes and engages on this Acme thread and then drives the carriage thusly or thusly in order to uh, thread parts. However, you don't want to run the carriage when you're just uh, that way. You don't want to run the carriage when you're just cutting. So what you do is you put this somehow over here, up or down or whatever, and then you lock down this clutch, friction clutch. I was told that this was burnt out of it. And it didn't even occur to me to attempt, to attempt to try it until now. Now look at this, we're gonna take this little knobby and you jam it downwards. Okay, now we're going to uh, start the spindle up, the chuck rather. Chuck spin him a thing in. Now we tighten this guy down. This is the clutch that's burned out mine. Ta-da! Power cross speed. So for the past five years, I've been cranking this little bastard like a sucker when I could have had the machine doing the thinking for me. Son of a diddly, which brings us to rule three. 90% of the problems are human error. Thanks a lot for watching. Read the manual thrice. And of course, because it hasn't been used since 1976, I done sheared the key. She got a little sticky there on the on the pokey bit on the input of the quick change. Yeah, there's your trouble. America's secret weapon to the rescue though, WD. Just blasted her in there, cleaned up some of the schmoo, and then we'll put some proper oil in it. Bob's your auntie. It just doesn't end. Once again for the second time.